Hey cats, what's happening? As you can see, I'm social distancing today. Social distancing from my wife V. <laughs> no, really. She uh, didn't get a chance to get a, a pedicure, get her toenails done, and she was gonna wear her flip-flops on the bike and she decided against it because she didn't want anybody to see her nasty toes. Again, I'm kidding. <laughs> I am social distancing out just enjoying the afternoon on the bike this evening seriously though down to business um my discussion today is will there be another sturgis rally and i don't mean forever but i was thinking about that on my ride today you know about the sturgis rally and it's going to be in august and with this coronavirus this covid 19 uh, they're pushing this kind of stay at home order thing uh, with all, everything else that goes with it out into June or July now. So that brings us closer to Sturgis, which is usually the first, second week of August, give or take a three or four week period there when it's uh, of the, you know, in full bore. So with this whole pandemic thing going on, you know, this COVID-19 stay-at-home order, uh, borders not closed, but, the, you know, you got to have a reason for crossing state lines and everything else. Uh, what's going to happen in August when it's time for the Sturgis rally? Now, there's a couple things going on here. But as I was thinking about it, I thought, okay, let's just say, well, the people in Sturgis in that area this is their bread and butter you know this is most of the year around the places eh, I guess during the summer it's touristy there but the rest of the season it's a ghost town there's nobody there so this is where they really make their bed bread and butter during the summer for a vacation and uh, the biggest part of that's going to be for the rally itself so I'm gonna have to say right off the bat they're going to lose a lot of their revenue just over the summer without being able to have a lot of tourism. Obviously, they none of the restaurants could be open or anything. They could probably sell food on the street, but if you can get there. Now, I, I threw up a couple questions in my mind. Okay, let's say I'm a vendor there. Let's say, let's just say that I sell Sturgis T-shirts. Well, with this coming up in August, and knowing that there's this pandemic which pushes us out closer and closer to that day, am I going to order 2,000 t-shirts, 10,000 t-shirts, with, you know, the, the date on them, the 2020 Sturgis, and hope that the rally goes down so I can sell the t-shirts, and then uh, it could be a weak crowd this year. so. Is it really even worth my effort to put my money into that? So, you know, that's one thing that was on my mind is like, how is that going to work if you're a vendor there? If that's what you go to Sturgis to do to make your money, uh, are you really going to put all your uh, eggs in that basket? I think I'd be thinking really hard about it. The other thing I'm thinking too is a lot of us, well, I'm retired so I don't have to worry, but there's a lot of people right now that are on, on unemployment because they've shut their job down temporarily. Uh, they may not be making a lot of money, so right there that's going to cut tourism way down because for me to ride out to Sturgis and back and, you know, enjoy myself while I'm out there, that's... $2,000, $3,000 vacation. I mean, yeah, you could probably do it for less if you're pinching pennies. But that's a lot of money when you don't have any money. And I think this year, things are going to be real tight. Hey, you could use that stimulus check. Yeah, you could use that stimulus check and still go to Sturgis. <laughs> no, I think it'll cost you a little more than that. But, you know, you know what I'm saying, though. Is this is the rally really going to fly this year? And if it does, I think you're going to see a real edited version of it. Uh, 
because I don't know how people are going to make ends meet and and still uh, make any money there. I guess none of us know what the outcome of this pandemic is going to be. And, and, and I think most of us know it's not so much the virus that we're worried about. It's all the crap that's going with it, with our country, you know, shutting everything down. That's going to be the thing that really hurts us. It's going to kill us in the long run. More ways than one. Uh, it's going to be a hard time to recover. So given that question, you know, it, it was just on my mind today, like, oh my gosh, that's right, the Sturgis rally is in August, and this pandemic thing is pushing right out to that date. Uh, and, and even if they did say, okay, go back to work, open your restaurants, everything's all 100% go, fly, let's run with it. How do you plan right now for something that's so iffy? I don't know. So you tell me, you think it'll be a bust this year? Or do you think they'll actually be able to make ends meet? I don't know. I don't know. I, I think this, like I said, this pandemic is going to send everything upside down. Uh, including every other rally or event uh, scheduled for the summer. Uh, right now, you're not allowed to gather in groups at all. Uh, so, of course, we've seen people doing it. I, uh, right now I'm in uh, a local wildlife area. There's nobody around, but the public parking lot just down the road here about a mile is completely full, completely full of, of cars and people everywhere. So it's not even close to social distance. Um, yeah, I just kind of found this little gravel It's just, I don't know what it is. It's just, There's a little gravel pull-off here, and it kind of goes back in. They're, they're public hunting areas, so, you know, they might use four-wheelers back here. In fact, that looks like four-wheeler tracks right there. So, you know, they might ride back in there and set up their, their deer stands or whatever. I don't know. It was the quietest place I could find to make a video along the road because everywhere you stop there's a lot of heavy traffic and any public area I thought well I'll stop at one of these parks or something you know and and do a video but dang there wasn't even a parking spot for me to pull my bike into crazy that's social distancing <laughs> well at least one thing we know for sure when you're out on the road on the bike and you're out in the country like this it's it is social distance there's there's nobody around to bother you and it's it's peaceful quiet and uh, you know you do see some traffic on the road but less traffic out here in the rural area so anyway that's my story for today I'm gonna go back and ride you see the Sun is not down yet we got a couple more hours left so I got a little bit of time to ride yet and just enjoy the evening I think it's about 65 degrees something like that very comfortable ride today very nice but i still got a uh, bug splatter and i had a big splat right <laughs> in my glasses which sucks because you're trying to ride and all of a sudden boop okay now i'm practically blind in one eye because i got a big bug splattered there hey and i even got my ppe here my my uh my mask you know my filter <laughs> yeah how's that gonna work <laughs> hey at least it kept the bug juice off my teeth today all right cats there you go and uh, I hope you stay safe if you're riding enjoy it while you can and uh, like I well like I like to say ride hard and die free <laughs>